Behold, the absolute degeneracy that is thruster stacking. From Fulgora to a kilo in something like, I don't know, 10 seconds, 15, something like that. It's pretty fast. This thing caps out at about 2,040 kilometers a second. And if it's going any shorter distance, you know, from novice to volcanoes or anything like that, it barely reaches its full speed before it has, it has to break again. So what is thruster stacking? Normally, when you place engines, you can't place anything directly behind them. There's a column that blocks you from placing anything. It won't let me place this right here. But if you go far down enough, the column ends and you can place more engines. Because ship speed is pretty much entirely determined by width and weight is irrelevant. And the way the equation works, if you have engines spread across the maximum width of your ship, essentially if the widest part of your ship has engines going from end to end, excluding the little, you know, two tiles you need at the end, no matter which engine configuration you use, your ship, no matter what size it is, will cap out somewhere around 500 kilometers a second, regardless of whether it's a big ship like this. These are both thruster stacking now as well, which is why they're over 500. Though these only have one row down here. So the only way to actually get faster is to stack thrusters like this. This is definitely one of those pretty degenerate things that wasn't really fully intended by the devs. They have stated multiple times that they don't like it and are probably going to remove it at some point. But they're taking their sweet damn time. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, they're just having trouble coming up with a proper solution or something like that. Or they can't decide between the solutions. I don't know what's... The internal wookings, wookings, workings are at woob. But the reason I haven't done this in my ships normally is because they kept saying they were going to remove it. And I didn't want to design my ships around something that was going to be removed, right? I didn't want to like create all the, like, everything based around this only for it to be removed and then have to modify all my designs, etc., etc. I wanted to just have my designs be... Uh, yeah, that's not here. That's novice shit. Um, just don't mind that. We're in the process of clearing some more biters. And so yeah, the, the basically, it's been four months since Space Age has come out now, and it's still in the game. Thruster stacking is still in the game, so we kind of said, you know what, to hell with it. We're going to embrace it while we can, do max degeneracy, and see, uh, you know, how fast a ship can really go. And that's where we are right now. We've got this thing going at around 2,000 kilometers a second peak. It goes between the inner planets very, very quickly, as you can see. Um, if I send it too quickly, it drops a little too soon because there's some buffering issues, like, somewhere way down there. I've added a bunch of tanks to try to... Shut up! I, I've added a bunch of tanks to try to... Holy crap. I've added a bunch of tanks to try to deal with it, but, um... Okay, that's, like, actually a problem. Um... <laughs> okay, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> Whatever. We're busy right now. I'm sure we, we've stacked this up to... What is it? 20 times of thrusters. Tw 20 stacks right here. And that gets us about 2,000 kilometers a second top speed. If we're going between Novice and Volcanus or any of the inner plants that are not a kilo, you know, it's literally like a sub 10 second journey. It's there pretty much instantly. It's worth noting that this is not the limit. I know, um, you know, we're kind of joking about this being the fastest ship possible. It is possible to be make a ship technically faster than this. There, there is no limit to how many stacks you can have. It's just a matter of actually having the fluid down here. I've had, um, you know, I've been, it's been suggested to me, like, why don't I run the materials down here and then make the fuel instead of doing that? I mean, you'd still have the same issue of, you know, instead of pipeline extent, you'd run out of uh, belt throughput at the, at the same time. But, you know, the belt throughput goes really far. But it kind of doesn't matter because this thing was more of just a proof of concept rather than an actual practical ship. On my own personal ship... I've got three layers of thruster stacking right now. We stopped right below before we hit the pipeline extent. We're at 310 and 306 here on these two. And this thing with only three thruster stacks goes at about 1,000 kilometers a second. So with only three, this thing is half as fast as this thing is with 20. 
And I did start this with the original design uh, for the Tachi here. You know, it's just a standard Tachi that I started extending. And we realized pretty quick that I was going to need, you know, a lot more fuel and to redesign things a little bit. Uh, chat voted pretty early on that we ought to make the ship a kilo capable for the memes. Um, I originally didn't want to make it a kilo capable because that significantly complicates the design, you know, needing a bunch of rockets as opposed to just spamming lasers at this point. So you can see kind of as the core part of the Tachi up here, the main processing center. Then after that, we've got this giant fuel section and then a bunch of stuff sort of like more or less spaghetti in because I didn't really care about it being UPS efficient or material efficient. It was just kind of a proof of concept demonstration of like, hey, you know, if you decide to take thruster stack, you know, it's degenerously plateau. How fast can you actually get? And yeah. As I said, you can definitely get faster. Could you hit 3,000? Yeah, but probably. But considering we had to do three stacks over here to get to 1,000, and then an additional 17 stacks only got us to 2K, uh, it, it, it definitely plateaus a bit. And if you wanted to hit, like, 3,000 or something ridiculous like that, you would probably need, like, I don't know, 100 stacks or something like that. It was... You know, I didn't really care to find out at that point. You know, we already had this thing going at 2,000. It basically gets from one planet to another almost instantly. And uh, surprisingly, we did manage to get it to reach a kilo at that speed without much difficulty. I thought we would have issues with asteroids coming in too fast and um, causing issues. But mm, I had to add a few more turrets than usual. But honestly, it was nowhere near as bad as expected. So yeah, there you go. I'll throw it on the spreadsheet for those of you who want to screw around with it. But as I said, this was never really intended to be an actual practical ship. You know, increasing ship length does make things a bit worse for UPS because the asteroids are rendered for way, 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 way longer. You know, they're, they're rend getting rendered all the way down here as opposed to just, you know, essentially getting deleted when they hit the bottom, the bottom of the screen down here. So it's not a ship that I, you know, I'm going to be deploying all over the place in order to make everything faster. In fact, the only ships right now that I am using thruster stacking on are, again, my personal ship, which is this one, and the Prometheum ships, because that, you know, actually gives a, has a major impact. Um, I haven't gotten more than one thruster stack on the Prometheum ships, because we are getting very occasional asteroid shaves at this speed. Not very often. I think it's only happened once so far, where, like, we had a bit of a shave on the edge. But it's definitely clear that if we go much faster than the railguns with this grabber configuration isn't going to be able to keep up. And that part is sort of set in stone because you really want that 3 to 1 configuration for optimal, uh, well, optimal Prometheum gathering because you need that to saturate a belt. So, yeah, thruster stacking. Probably shouldn't be in the game. The devs have said they don't like it, but you know what? It's still in the game, so enjoy it while you can. Just be careful with it. Uh, you don't want to leave a ship like this stopped at Aquila for a while because if a larger asteroid comes to the side and cleaves through here, it can knock out all your thruster stacks in one fell swoop. I do have laser turrets on the spine here to try to mitigate the smalls and the mediums, but... Yeah, you know, when, when you're stopped, even the big ones can come at, like, odd angles down here and cleave something off. So, I usually don't leave it at a kilo. Uh, so, we're going to send that one back right there. One last trip for you guys to see. Hitting that nice 2,000. 53.8 giganewtons of thrust. This is more thrust than the Prometheum ships are capable of generating. And they actually it actually weighs more as well. This is a 3,000 ton ship, and my Prometheum ships are what? Like 2.5? Oh my god, they're eating my base. Alright, yeah, that one's gonna fall because the power got cut. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. Okay. <laughs> we, we have a little problem. I don't even know how they managed to knock out the power there. Maybe I do need one more Tesla turret on that one. We'll deal with that later. Okay, I, I have some alarms to deal with. The, the biters are uh, causing issues, so enjoy thruster stacking while it lasts. We'll see if they add something to replace it when they finally remove it so that we can actually have ships go over 500 kilometers a second. But honestly, I would rather have them revisit the 
platform speed equation because um, right now it's it's really kind of dumb. It, it, it's like basically if your engines are spamming your maximum width of your ship, it's like this. You know, the, like if they go end to end, you don't have any extra over the over the end, and they're all legendary, and you're all keeping them all fed. Then you know that's essentially the max speed you're gonna get. Which is going to be around 500. So it's really kind of boring to have all ships kind of plateau around 500. It also makes optimizing for weight and doing weird stuff like this not really make much of a difference. Because removing mass doesn't really, you know, change anything. So enjoy it while it lasts. Because who knows how long it's going to last. The, de the devs do not like it. The devs have stated multiple times they don't like it. But the devs also have not yet fixed it. And it's been several months. So... You know, it might be a Factorio 2.1 thing or something. We just don't know. They haven't given us any timeline or anything on when it's actually going to be fixed. All we know is that, you know, as devs have seen it, they're like, yeah, that's don't expect that to stick around, you know. And we don't like that kind of comments um, coming out. So, yeah, they're like, it's going to get axed at some point. Just be aware of that. But since it's been in the game this so long, knock yourself out. I'm Stupid Fat Hobbit. I stream at Twitch TV SF Hobbit, and thanks for watching.